Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. This video is on tree expressions. Um, the day of recording is 4th of July, 2023, 8.45 on a Sunday. So let's get right into the video. So before we understand how to simplify trig expressions, we need to clarify some main concepts, some important rules. So those include terms such as secant, secant theta, cosecant theta, and cot theta. So until now, we are all aware of sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. And these terms just feel a little weird, don't they? So I'll explain. Secant theta, all these guys are just reciprocals of our main three terms. So secant theta is one over cos theta. And cosecant theta is one over sine theta. And cot theta is just one over tan theta, okay? These are all reciprocals. And what you can see about this is we all know that tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. And when you're saying cot theta is one over tan theta, that means, that means cot one over, sorry, one over tan theta also means one over sine over cos. And when you take this term to multiply here, so it's one, one over one times cos over sine, we get cos over sine theta. So cot theta is also cos over sine theta. So these are some rules that you just need to know. And as always, we have these Pythagorean triads too. Pythagorean triads. Pythagorean triads. But I like to call them trig identities. Different schools call them different ways. I'm just going to use the word trig identities. So what are these trig identities? So these are rules such as, mm, yep, these are rules such as sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one. And then one plus tan squared theta is equal to secant squared theta. And one plus cot squared theta is equal to cosec squared theta, right? These are just those important basic terms. Knowing these will help us in the video, right? So let's get right into the video now. The first question, as we, as you all know by the title, it's simplifying, right? So the first one is to simplify what? Secant theta into, let me use a better color, into sine theta into cos theta. So we always, I always recommend you all to write it down. So secant theta into sine theta into cos theta. We want to make it very elaborate for us. And then secant theta, referring back to the table, secant, we know it's one over cos. So we can write this that version here, one over cos theta times, we know sine theta is sine theta over one. And we know cos theta is cos theta over one. Here, both these terms cancel out and we're left with sine theta over one or we're left with sine theta. So this expression simplified is equal to sine theta. Now question number two, simplify this. So we are adding all these terms. That's important. We are adding all these terms. So we can rewrite tan. Okay, so one thing that I see many beginners do, I mean, I used to do this myself, if you jump straight into expanding tan theta as what? Um, sine theta over cos theta. However, this isn't the right approach to do here. We're always supposed to look at the overall picture. So when you look here, right, we know that sine theta plus cos theta is equal to one from one of our Pythagorean triads. Sine theta plus cos theta is equal to one. So that is what's going to help us here. Sine theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one. So here we can write it as tan squared theta plus one. Now we also know tan squared theta plus one is equal to sec squared theta. That 
is another one of our identity. Stan square theta plus one is sex square theta. So this expression simplified is just sex square theta. This is, I hope you understand why we need to memorize the Pythagorean tri like identities. But yeah, moving on to the next question. Also, always free, feel free to pause the question, try it out, and then listen to my explanation. So, sin square theta into cos x square theta times sex square theta. So, these are all multiplication. So, let's write them all down. We don't see any obvious pattern here, right? Sin squared. So, let's, we have to write them all down. Sin squared theta is, you know, sin squared theta over 1 multiplied by cosec. So, co cosec squared theta is basically 1 over sin theta. And sex square theta is just 1 over cos theta. Because we're all just multiplying all this, we can go and write sin square theta in over sin square theta into cos square theta. But understand that sin square theta, sin square theta is just basically sin theta multiplied by sin theta. Also, I wanted to explain this for a long time because I didn't understand solely. Why do we write sine square theta and not just sine theta whole squared? Well, you can write that every time. That just looks bad. Uh, but you can't really write sine theta whole squared because this is an other identity apparently in year 11 and 12. I'm not sure of this yet, but I was just set to use sine square theta. And yeah, that's what I do. So we can expand this and write it as sine theta times sine theta over 1 times 1 over sine theta times 1 over cos theta. Now, one of these sine thetas cancel out and we just have sine theta over cos theta. So going on and writing this, sine theta over cos theta, we know that sine over cos theta is just tan theta. So this is our simplified version. Sorry for my sniffs because I have cold, but still. Question number four, cot theta into tan theta plus cot theta. So here, do we see any, what do you call, obvious patterns? No, we don't. So therefore, we're just going to use the FOIL method and multiplying in. So cot theta into tan theta, let's just write that as cot theta into tan theta plus cot theta into con theta is cot squared theta. Now, cot theta into tan theta, we can expand the cot theta as um, 1 over tan theta or cos theta over sin theta multiplied by sin theta over cos theta because that's tan. So that's tan, that's cos. Now here we can cross out these and we can cross out these and there will just be 1. So it's 1 plus cot squared theta. Again, we have to observe our answer at every stage. You don't just go and expand the cot square theta to 1 over tan square theta and to cos square theta over sin square theta. That will result in the long, wrong answer. What we're supposed to do here, we know that this is another triad. What is it? It's the last one. Remember? 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. So the right answer for this one would be cosec squared theta. Always observe your answer at every stage. I used to make these mistakes a lot. I still do. I'm just explaining this video for my understanding. So it's a, but let's go. Simplify this expression. Secant squared theta multiplied by one times one minus sine squared theta. As I said, you're supposed to examine everything. This looks oddly familiar, doesn't it? 1 minus sine squared theta. So if you write our initial ex trig identity down, we know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. So if you, if you want to make cos squared theta the subject, we would have to take sine, squ sine squared theta to the other side. When we do this, we get cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. Now, this expression it's looking very similar to this, right? Yeah. So we can substitute cos squared theta in for that. So doing that, 
we have 6 square theta multiplied by cos square theta now. Now, 6 square theta, I guess let's just multiply this open. So this is 6 square theta cos square theta. 6 square theta is basically, wait. 6 square theta is basically 1 over cos square theta multiplied by cos square theta is just cos square theta over 1. This is cancel out, 1 over 1 is 1, so the answer is 1. So this expression just simplifies down to 1. Now, a final example. Uh, it's not really tricky per se, but try it out and resume the video. Here, what we're supposed to do is we have cos, squared, cos theta plus sine theta times tan theta. So this is pretty good. We have something times something, and we know we can expand tan. So let's do that. Sine theta into sine theta over cos theta over 1. So multiplying these both together, we get sine theta times sine theta is sine squared theta over cos theta. We have one term here. We have this term, uh, sine squared theta over cos theta. So now we have cos theta over 1 plus sine squared theta over cos theta, right? So if we have this cos theta, we want to multiply. So we find the LCM, and the LCM here would be cos theta. So let's multiply both sides by cos theta. Doing this, we get what? Cos square theta over cos theta, same denominator now, plus sine square theta. So this is what we get now. Cos square theta plus sine theta over cos theta. Now, again, if we observe this answer, we know that cos square theta plus sine square theta is one of the initial Pythagorean trites, like, I mean, sorry, identities trig identities. So we can just add it as 1 because we know that they both add up to 1. And then cos theta is just, oh, let's just write cos theta. So you can, if you leave your answer here, you're wrong because remember, you're supposed to simplify down to the furthest. And analyzing the answers, you will know that, you know, initially what we said, let's go all the way back here sec theta is equal to 1 over cos theta. So what do we have here? 1 over cos theta. So if you got it right, it's sec theta. So the answer, so this simplify, simplifies to sec theta. That concludes our video. Try more practice problems. Um, I'll try to find you a simple question right now that you can do it as homework and possibly post it in the comments. Sec theta over sine theta, cot theta plus tan theta. This question isn't necessarily harder, but you can do it as homework, but I'll go on to explain it here. We have sec theta, right? Let's leave it all there. So, First, let's focus on the bottom bit because we've got to expand something. Okay, sine theta into cot theta plus tan theta. So let's use the form. Do we see anything here? Cot theta plus tan theta? Well, not really. So we can expand it. Sine theta into cot theta is, let's leave it as sine theta cot theta plus sine theta tan theta over sec theta. We'll get back to the sec theta later. Let's just focus on this term. Sine theta cot theta. What can we expand that to? Sine, we can write sine theta over 1 multiplied by cot is just 1 over tan theta. Or, as you know it better, it's cos theta, cos theta over sine theta. And then we are adding it to sine theta, which is again sine theta over 1 times tan theta, 
which is sin theta over cos theta. So, what we can clearly do here is we can cancel out some terms very, very easily. We can cancel these out and yeah, so here we have cos theta over 1 and then we got the plus symbol. So we got the plus symbol for this side which is sine squared theta over cos theta. So to add them, we need to make both of them the same denominator. So let's time both sides by cos theta times cos theta. And the top becomes cos squared theta, whole thing plus sine squared theta over cos theta. And this is starting to look similar to the older one. We can replace cos squared theta plus sine squared theta for one over cos squared theta. And as I just previously mentioned, one over cos theta is the same as secant theta. So we found the denominator, we simplified it down. It's secant theta. Now let's look at the top one. The top was secant theta over, now the denominator is secant theta. So anything divided by itself is one. So that is our answer. Some common mistakes that people do is go expand the secant theta to one over cos over one over cos, and then to multiply one over cos into cos over one. You get the same answer, but do you really want to waste that much more time? But with more practice, you will get the shorter method of doing this. But this is all the questions. And hope you liked it. I'll catch you in the next one.